Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a coin purse and um, this is what it's going to look like. Hopefully at the moment you're seeing some photos of the finished product. Uh, the reason I've got the actual product anymore is because I've given it away as a present and these do actually make really nice little gifts to give away to someone special. Um, so what you're going to need first off, the most important part is a coin purse frame. So it's just a purse frame. and. Uh, this one is actually a 2.5 inch uh, 65 millimeter purse frame and as you can see they have these little holes going around either side there and this is called a sew-in um, coin um, purse frame and uh, that's because we're actually going to sew the finished uh, material into into the purse frame. Um, you can get glue-in ones but I think a sew-in one actually gives a better finish. Always make sure the ones you buy have the little holes so you can sew it in. Uh, so this is a 2.5 inch um, purse frame and it's silver uh, which is probably a bit more hard wearing. Um, you can pick these up off eBay pretty easy. So uh, We're going to be using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Um, you can use one that's almost similar to that size if you wish because gauge isn't massively essential. Um, but we're going to be using a DK which is a light worsted weight cotton yarn. I've just chosen a, a nice pink colour, you can use any colour you like. Uh, a pair of scissors, which is always handy, and um, we're going to be using two types of needles. You're going to use your normal yarn needle for sewing in your ends, um, but also uh, to, because of these holes are quite small to sew in, you're probably going to have to use a thinner needle as well. So this is just a normal sewing needle. Um, just make sure that it basically goes through the, the little holes like that, so, so that's quite important. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so to begin, we're going to be making um, 10 single crochet into a magic circle. So, uh, as per usual, I will put a link in the description below to my video that details how to do the magic circle in greater detail. Um, you might find this a bit quick to follow. Um, so, we're going to be working on a little dummy stitch and we're going to be working 10 single crochet into a magic circle to begin. One. Okay, so when you've got your 10 single crochet, we just pull to tighten. Oh, like so. And then we'll just slip stitch into our first stitch to join. Like so. And then just do your slip stitch. Okay, so then what we're going to do now is we're going to work um, double crochet, two double crochet in each stitch around. So the first thing we're going to do is chain two one and two and then we're going to do a double crochet into the same stitch that you just slip stitched into so that's the bottom of your two chain so that creates our increase like so and then we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch And then two double crochet in the next stitch and just repeat that all the way around until you've got 20 um, stitches. So it's 19 and 20. Okay, so it looks something like that. Make sure that the hole in the middle is quite tight. And then we're just going to slip stitch into the top of our two chain. So if we can find our two chains, so there's the first one, there's the second. So we're just going to slip stitch into the top of our two chain. Okay, so by the end of round two, you should have 20 stitches. And now we're going to be working a front post stitch. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to my video that shows the front post stitch in more detail. Um, but we're going to do a double crochet front post stitch. And you need to work your front post stitch around the chains uh, that's below your slip stitch where you've just joined. So, you're going to go behind that post and out for the other side as normal and just work your double crochet front post stitch. Okay, so I'll show you that again. So it's the, you've just slip stitch into the top of your two chain 
and you need to work your front post stitch around the chains below so not the next double crochet post so it's a bit awkward but you just put your hook behind your chains and just pop it out around the other side grab your yarn like so and then just work your double crochet as normal like so so you've just worked basically a double crochet around the post around the chains rather than in the stitch above and what we're going to do now is we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch so we just move along the next post and it's just the stitch above the next post so just do two double crochet in there And that's your increase. Excuse my washing machine waking up. Then we're going to work another double crochet front post stitch around the next double crochet post. So we need to make sure we're doing it around the right one. So you find your previous stitches, it's not the double crochet below, the next one along. So we go behind that around the other side grab your yarn, do your double crochet as normal like so and then we're just going to do two double crochet in the next stitch, we find our next post, find the stitch above it can sometimes be hidden after you've done your front post stitch and just work your increase in there, your two double crochet just come undone And then we're going to work a front post stitch again. So find your stitch you just worked into, double crochet below, ignore that, it's the next one along. So always make sure you're working it around the right one. And I'm just going to go shut my washing machine up. Okay, so in the next stitch after your last front post stitch, we're going to work just two double crochet increases normal in the next stitch. So find your next post then find the stitch above and that's the one you want to be working into so just do two double crochet increase in there and then we do our front post stitch as normal so find the post beneath your stitch it's not that one it's the next one along and just repeat that all the way around to the end until you have 30 stitches. So just repeating the front post stitch and then the two double crochet increase, front post stitch, two double crochet increase, all the way around until you have 30 stitches. Okay. Okay, so I'm just coming to the last increase and because you worked your first front post stitch around your chains, uh, you should find that you have a nice happy stitch waiting there to put your last increase in. Like so, so just two double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so by the end of that round it should look a little something like that and you should have 30 stitches all in all and it's starting to look like that little Catherine Well shape that we want. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, don't worry about joining the round or anything like that, we're just going to work straight into our next stitch. We're going to be doing a front post stitch again and it's just going to go round the one from the, uh, the previous round. like so. Then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch as normal. Like so. And then we're going to do our increase in the next stitch. So that's two double crochet in the next stitch. And that should line up with your increase in the previous round. So it's one, two, like so. Then we're going to do a front post stitch again so we're going to go around the same front post as the previous round like so and then do one double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochet in the next stitch for our increase which like I said should line up with the increase from the previous round 
like that. And then the next stitch is going to be a um, front post stitch again, front post stitch again, then one double crochet and then two double crochets. So just repeat that all the way around until you have 40 stitches. That's 38 and then we're going to do the last increase, 39 and then 40. And that should all line up with our previous increases as you can see there. And, uh, and there you should have 40 stitches by the end of the fourth round. Yeah, let's check that's the fourth round. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go straight into a front post stitch again for our fifth round. So we do yarn over and just work your front post stitch around your previous front post, double crochet front post stitch. Like so. And then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch, which is always a little bit hidden behind the front post stitch. So that's just one double crochet by itself and then a one double crochet by itself in the next stitch and then we're going to do two double crochet for our increase like so and then just like the previous round we're going to go straight into a front post stitch again around the previous front post stitch they all line up and then work one double crochet in the next stitch, just a normal one. Then one double crochet, just a normal one in the next stitch as well. Like so. And then we're going to do two double crochet for increase in the next stitch. Okay, so just repeat that round until you have 50 stitches by the end of that round. Just making sure you're lining up your front post stitches with the previous ones. Okay, so 48, 49, 50 on our last increase. Well, like so, so you have 50 stitches by the end of that round. As you can see all the front post stitch spirals should all be matching up and all your increases just on the inside of them should be matching up as well. And if they don't, then it's always worth popping back and making sure you haven't missed uh, the right stitch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work basically half a round. Um, this creates just the slightly bigger bottom um, for the bag down there. So we're going to put our handle at the top there. So we're going to carry on pretty much the same pattern, but we're just going to work half of the circle. But I'll do it with you. We're going to do a front post stitch around the next front post stitch as it were, as normal. Then we're going to do a one double crochet in the next stitch as normal. One double crochet in the next stitch by itself. One double crochet in the next stitch. So that's three by itself. And, uh, and then we're going to do an, an increase. like so. And then we're just going to carry on doing a front post stitch. So that's our stitch number seven. And one on its own at the top. Just going to get that a bit neater. Stitch number eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve for our increase. Eleven and twelve. Now we're going to go back to our front post stitch again. Make sure that's lining up. Stitch number thirteen. And back up the top again, stitch number 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 for 
for our increase. So that's two in the same stitch. 18, like so. And 19, stitch number 19 is going to be our front post stitch again. And 20 back up as normal. Make that a bit neater. 20. 21, 22, 23 and 24 for our increase, 25 is going to be our front post stitch again. Five and 26 back up the top. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty, and that's where we're going to stop on our last increase. So Twenty-nine and thirty in the same stitch. Because normally if we went all the way to the end on this round we would have 60 stitches and because we only want to go halfway we're only doing 30 so we just need to count up to 30 making sure our front post stitches line up okay oh actually I've just forgotten there's actually amendment those last two sorry to annoy you I forgot we just want it to curve in slightly so the last two stitches um, 29 and 30 are going to be a the first one's going to be a half double crochet like so and then the next one in the same stitch for stitch number 30 it's just going to be a single crochet like so and that just brings it in just to neaten it off a little bit Okay, so then we're going to cut our yarn, like so. And what you want to do now is to repeat that whole process and make an identical one. And as you can see, the because we've only done the increases on the next round at the bottom, that's going to be the bottom of our bag. So eventually the handle is going to go at the top, like so. so it just makes it a little bit more shapey, as it were. So repeat the whole process again, make an identical one of these, so just start off with your 10 single crochet in a magic circle and just make all of this again and, uh, and then we'll come back. So we've got two of these, okay? Okay, so hopefully you've just completed the uh, second uh, side of your purse and before you fasten off, what we're now going to do is actually join the two together. Now what I've got here is that's the bigger part where we just crocheted 30 stitches around half of the circle. So what I want you to do is actually just turn that so you've got the fatter part facing this way and that's the smaller part and the handle's going to go across there. And what you need to do is actually count, let's just put our other project down for a second, we need to count 30 stitches back from our end piece um, so we can find the other side uh, across there, so we'll just count those now. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, so that's the other side of our little semicircle there. So, making sure you've got the wrong side facing you, and then the one you've just been working on the right side facing you, so that's going to be the inside of the purse, you just want to put your hook through that stitch and what we're going to do is we're actually just going to do a single crochet, so pull that through the other side, just pull that tight a bit to keep it tight and then just work a single crochet stitch to lock those two into place. But we need to work going back around the other way because we're going to crochet, we're going to single crochet these two sides together 
on the fatter side, as it were. So we're going to turn it over so we're crocheting in the right direction. Hopefully I haven't lost you so far. And we just need to put our crochet hook into the second stitch along, then find the stitch on the other side corresponding, like so. So you've got both stitches on your hook. Pull your yarn through, make sure your yarn's at the back and just work a single crochet again in the next stitch and go in the next stitch as normal find the corresponding stitch on the other side like so grab the yarn grab the yarn and complete your single crochet stitch as normal and just repeat that around your 30 stitches on the fat side of your purse just joining each side as you go and I'll just do that now and then we'll come back and I'll show you what, where we are at okay. so it's done 28 and now I'm going to do 29 30. <laughs> oh, where's it gone? There it is. 30. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to fasten off, cut our yarn, and then just pull that through. And what that's done is that's connected our two bottom fat parts where we just crocheted halfway round our circle and uh, crocheted those two together and it's left the smaller part which still only has um, uh, less stitches than 30 do my maths on that <laughs> and, uh, and this is this is the part that we're going to sew into the um, the purse handles like so okay Okay, so before we um, sew in our handles, what we're going to do is we're just going to tie up all our loose ends and just make sure these are all sewn in. Okay, and then we'll come back. Okay, the next thing to do, once we've tied in all our ends and it's looking something a little like this, is we need to get um, some thread that's either the very, very similar colour to this or we're going to get a length, a length of the same cotton we've been using cut a length of that off and we need to split it because we need to be able to use this to sew it onto our onto our purse handle so what I did for the other one is um, I took a couple of the strands like that and I just separated separated it out from the rest of the threads I'm going to have to do this off camera because I need to hold Thick a bit. Okay, so I've separated that out from the other threads. So I've just got two, two threads of the uh, the cotton we've been using. But you can always use just a normal, um, much thinner cotton thread in a pink as well if you have that to hand. And what we need to get is a a normal sewing needle uh, or any needle that basically just fits through the holes of your um, handles. And what we're going to do. Sorry, I've got fluff in my mouth. Is we're just going to thread that onto the needle. Like so. And what I actually did for the other one is I doubled it over at both ends. And I just tied a knot in the end. Like so. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our handles like so. And if you open them up, you can see on the inside that they've got this little cavity on the inside. Annoyingly, my holes are only on one side because some of these handles they have holes in the side. And you can just straight, thread straight through, uh, but not to worry. It's not a big issue at all. And what you need to do is evenly push 
your um, crochet work into the little cavity on one side of your bag, of your little purse. Just making sure that the uh, it's evenly done. Let's just make sure that's lined up a bit better. Okay, so let's push that up. Like so, you might have to bunch it up a little bit. But that's okay, because that just adds much that just adds more shape, which looks nice. Like so. Just want to make sure we start right in that corner. Let's move that over just a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our needle and we're just literally just going to thread through our work. Like so, you want to make sure you're um, too fiddly to do with the camera in front of you. I want to share this with you guys. So, so make sure that's really in, tucked in, and then put your needle through your work. Grab it from the other side. I should catch our little knot, like so. And then we're going to come up from the inside. And you can always sort of just catch the material a little bit just to make sure you really are tucking it up. And then push that through. Find that next hole there. And just bring that up. And then I'm going to go back down the very first hole again. So I'm just going to push that through again for the first hole, like so. But this time I'm going to come up through the third one along. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to catch a little bit of that material and just make sure it's really tucked up in there. And I'm going to come through the next hole and I'm going to go back down the second hole. And I'm always slightly pointing downwards just to make sure we're catching that material. Like so. And you can see on the inside it's just sewing in nicely. And just make sure as you go along that you're pushing in your work into that cavity and also making sure that it's evenly sewn in as well. So I'm just going to bunch that around a little bit. Make sure that's really tucked up in there. And then we're going to go. Where are we? Be careful not to end up in a tangled mess. So I'm just going to bunch that over just a little bit. I'm going to grab the material from behind. So I'm just going to make sure that's really catching there. Get through that third hole. I can find it. There we go. And then we're going to go back down the third hole, like so. I'll just make sure that the, um, the sewing is really tight and you're catching lots of that material. And just repeat that along, making sure that as you go, you're really catching that material. Oops, going in each hole along and then back down the previous one like so. And as you go along just make sure, keep an eye keep an eye on the other end so you're not leaving loads of material like that and you've suddenly got a big gap. You've got to make sure that as you go you're really bunching it in, keeping making sure the end meets where you've sewn it to the other side. So just keep bunching that round, pushing it up, catching that material and, uh, and then sewing along as we have done on the first ones. So I'm going to do that for the first side and then I'm going to come back. Okay. Okay, so I've just repeated that all the way across, just making sure to, to really bunch that up and get it into place. 
And all I'm going to do now is just, I'm just going to sew this in a little bit and uh, just to hide off any tail pieces of yarn. I'm sure you can do this a lot neater than I'm doing at the moment. And I'm just going to cut that like so. Um, with regards to the first piece, um, I just stick that back on the needle and just put it for the other side and then just hide it on the inside. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our first we've got our first side, um, side of our purse sewn in. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat exactly what we've done for this side for the other side. Like so, and obviously you're going to have that open. So you're just going to bunch that up into the uh, into the crevice of the handle, like before, making sure that you're sewing evenly into place. The second side is usually a bit easier than the first, and uh, yeah, and just repeat the sewing around for the other side, and uh, and then we'll come back and you'll be pretty much finished by then. Okay. Okay. So I've sewn in the uh, both sides now, done both sides, and uh, just tied in all my ends and uh, and there we are job done um, if you feel that um, you've actually got some quite big gaps um, at the sides um, all you can simply do is just get some more of your pink yarn and then just sew those sides together a little bit more um, just so that they so there's no gaps appearing if you want to um, but there you go your own little coin purse hand crocheted and uh, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and uh, these make really sweet little gifts, um, wonderful little stocking fillers as well and you can get lots of ornate designs as well for the handles which can also make them a lot more interesting and if you do, if you end up buying bigger handles um, you can just follow the same method but just make a bigger circle and then just work half at the end if you want to that should work as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and uh, sorry it's been so long since my last tutorial and I'll be back soon for some more crochet fun. So, hope you enjoyed watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs> so I guess I need to go find some money to put in it now because it's a little bit empty. Bye-bye. <laughs>